Hello everyone, this is Deaga, and of course it's Alatreon again. What did you expect? But this time it's the fiery one. Uh, this is a bit slower than the run against Ice Alatreon, but I feel like Ice is a much better matchup. So I'm actually pretty glad I got this close to my Ice Alatreon time on the fire one. And let's get started. The opener is fast the same. So flash blow to the face, got lucky to do the charge so it can slap right away. Three slaps, let go. Evade the rover. This time it didn't mess up. Look at that. And do the jumping attack so it can mount more easily later. Lightning strikes the usual stuff. You can row just at the last moment to row through it. Same for side steps. Side step through that. You should be able to figure out which elements are affected. Attack a bit during this lightning storm. Just using the electric attacks for now, so it's the same as the Isola Trail for now. Always the charge, did another one. And then the flamethrower from far away. Too bad we can't punish that like the ice craft. It's much faster. It's also super annoying when Nolotrayon uses that flamethrower and you're close to it. It's really hard to react to. Got a bit greedy there, but no Dragon Blight. I took a more reliable set for this one. Go through that, double slash. ZSD praying that it doesn't use the horn attack, didn't. Let go there so I don't get pinned. And that's some pretty cool damage. Damage dodge without a roll, so I go for the Morphing Sweep. This time worked out. You dodge the claw swipes due to the Morphing Sweep moving forward. Rolled a bit too early there, so I got hit. This set's actually only running peak performance 1. <laughs> you sit, I just got this as a freebie from KT lags. So I'm not too worried about keeping full health at all times. Of course it's nice. But it's not my number one priority. Priority, sorry. It's flying, already doing the claw attacks that we can use to mount it. There's the mount. If you don't know, you need two knife staggers to get a finisher on the mounts. Although sometimes the finisher doesn't come up, I don't know why that is. But any mount without a finisher means you got three staggers. So I got one on the back. The head was already hurt quite a lot from before, so I jumped to it. And a few steps to get the stagger. Then we go to the finisher. I never got a weird mount where the finisher doesn't come up on the trail, so that's nice. Do the double swing to get out. And another combo with the ZSD just in time as it gets up. It did the hard attack, unfortunately. It does that very rarely when you ZSD its face. It's the only attack that hits you there. It's out of rage, so let's re-enrage it. That lightning strike gives a long enough opening for this. Let go. Sometimes I can get that slash and evade in the nick of time, but not this time. Elf space the Dragon Burst, the double slash into a ZSD. And it does a charge. Yeah, it's the charge and the horn attack that can hit you there. Very unfortunate. If it did the claw swipe, I'd break the horn right there and then. But okay, we just break it now. And we'll do another ZSD because I'm feeling quite dumb. <laughs> I guess. was prepared for the slam, so I could go for the full burst there. Throw through this. The dragon burst, once in dragon active mode, has a much longer range, so I had to dodge it there. With charge, we're rolling more to refill gauge. Roll under that, sidestep under that. Not sure if I had sidestep, but to be safe, I did it. I'm going to take Kaw. Unfortunately, I hit the wing with the Clutch Claw. Either four legs or the horn would be much nicer, but okay. At least I got some damage. Yeah, yeah the full explosion is quite risky, as you just saw. So, will I die this time as well? We'll see. Made sure to use a max potion to avoid dying. Then the no barrier because water blight is super annoying. 
I'm running low on white sharpness, so I use that attack to sharpen. It takes quite a while, so it's safe. And now let's go into the X mode. Because the sword attacks are quite hard to hit that high up. We can use this attack to set up our axe. And got it done too, so that's pretty cool, right? Took a bit too long, of course, a faster dunk would be better, but a late dunk's better than no dunk, right? To the heavens right fury for Amp, and finish with the ZSD. And yeah, the dragon bars. Maybe if I did the early cancel, I could sidestep through that. But it kind of went YOLO and decided to trade with the stronger burst. Like the false fight, do a double slash, it's going to do the ice breath. I hit the clutch claw, but I went to the four legs, so that's nice. I won't that. Got a nice hit zone. Got the clagger from the morphing sweep. And it's the SD City. Enraged again. So I went for the full burst because it had got out of rage mode and I figured a full explosion would make it quite mad. So you charge, dodge that too. Quick attack there. This time we got to the horn, so that's nice. Let's explode them. Just like in the other run, I do the early count, so just as it opens its mouth to taunt. Judgment's coming, I go around this side of Alatrayan because it's had spin stores this side. Get it there just in time and do my ZSD. I do the early cancel to get the health augment heal. The full explosion comes too quickly, so there's a small cooldown on the health augment, so it can't get healed from the full explosion. We can from the early cancel, which is that weird delay. And you're back at full health. Got a stagger there, which prevented the lightning wall attack, which is a bit too bad, but okay. Can attack through this. I hate those fireballs in fire mode. The fireballs and the quick flamethrower. Those moves always ruin me, because that's why I like ice mode more. I step through that, do the double slashes, blah blah blah. The double slashes, then the single slash there. Roll through that, double slash and ZSD, just like at the beginning, remember that? False fight is safe. And the fireball was also safe to do the full bars too, but it died anyway. So anything that didn't hit the right there would be safe. <laughs> this time I want to get my carves first. I'll show the set soon enough. I'm using the Escador Waste rather than KT Waste, so I get Dragon Resistance 3, which is nice for when the physical attacks hit, so I don't get Dragon Blight. And then I run Attack Boost 7 rather than 4 from the previous set to compensate the lower peak performance level. Peak performance 1 comes from the KT Legs Alpha I'm using. You could use the Legs Beta or Brachidium Leggings Beta Plus. And then you get a tier 4 slot rather than the tier 2 one, so you can run an extra level of Evade Wingdon or something. But I thought KT legs A plus with peak performance would be better. I just wanted higher damage numbers. But it's a small difference either way. You can use the beta piece if you prefer to have Evade Wingdon or something else there. There's our final time of just barely sub -A. Didn't think I'd get this. <laughs> a really ugly kill screen. Like, I'm so hyped to kill it for ZSD, but this kill screen is terrible. <laughs> and as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next hunt. See ya! Bye bye!